If you have always wanted an image generation model that can create images with transparent backgrounds instead of going through that boring and time consuming process of removing the background in Photoshop, then the solution is already here. The name is Layer Diffusion. This is an extension built for SDXL that can create images with completely transparent backgrounds, a subject for a specific given background, a background for a particular given subject it can do it all to get started you need to go to this url i am going to launch stable forge now let's go to extensions install from url and we are going to copy the link from here paste it inside this box and hit install once that's done go to the installed tab apply and restart ui now here you can see the extension is already installed there are two extensions layer diffusion and layer diffuse while trying to make this video now i just noticed this new extension named layer diffuse this is an upgraded version of layer diffusion if you scroll down here you can see they have mentioned two specific models that would work best with this extension the first one is juggernaut excel version 6 not the latest version version 6 and anima pencil excel version 1.0 you can just click on the given link to get to the model page in cvti and download the tensors files from there i have already downloaded them and put them inside my checkpoints folder so they are ready to go now it's time to enable this layer diffuse extension first we are going to try only generate transparent image let us start with a basic prompt and look at that okay, this first image is actually with a background it creates a dummy background to show you sort of transparent effect but this next image this comes with completely transparent background let us test it out download this image and i am going to drag this image on this canva page and see the background is completely transparent just this alone can have huge applications in graphic designing banner designing creating assets for different projects you can easily create numerous things with this one now let's move it up another notch transparent glass bottle high quality i just can't believe the result this image not only has transparent background it has partial transparency all over the image this portion of the glass this is not just a grayish color this is semi transparent just put it on this canvas the background is not partially black anymore this is partially yellow you can change the background and the color changes when you look through the bottle this has actually created a see-through bottle which is actually near impossible to cut out from one image of a bottle if you take a photo of a glass bottle and try to cut it out while maintaining selective partial transparency in photoshop it might take you hours just this single task and the best option is creating something by graphically designing it from scratch but with this extension we can practically create it under 37 seconds and i'm not running a high-end gpu i would love to see what you guys create with this extension just dm me with your creations and i would showcase the best ones on my next video now moving on to other interesting features this time we are going to create a subject for a specific background we have to select that from background to blending we have to give a background image for this one to work every time you run one of these models for the first time it is going to take a little bit time this one is not that much perfect yet maybe the model is not yet capable of understanding the background that much properly and it's going to get better than that now this one is not a perfect image yet but it will do for the demonstration now let me show you something interesting let's change the model from from background to blending to the next one from background and blending to foreground you have to drag this image here and a tiny bit of setting change changing the sampling method from dpm plus plus sd caras to either euler a or unipc they also does not know the reason behind this yet they are reviewing the code and trying to solve the problem while they are at it okay looks like there were some issues with this model when i tried to generate with a custom width and height it might be this checkpoint model it might be sdxl or it might be this extension model i don't know but changing it into a 1024 by 1024 one seems to do the trick this was the initial image this was the transparent image we generated on top of that and by using this from background to foreground model we have successfully cut out the foreground and now we can change the background for this one use it in some other settings and even if we are working in layers in photoshop we can just put these on top of each other in photoshop and edit those two layers separately we can even create multiple aspects of a complete design all different little little graphics and assets and put them with different layers in photoshop and work from there it would make our workflow a lot faster than it is today now we are going to create background for a transparent object 
we are going to generate an image with transparent background first but it is not at all mandatory to generate an image inside the web UI you can also bring an image from outside into the web UI now we have our cute puppy here now select from foreground to blending drag and drop this image here now changing the prompt to a dog inside a room and it has generated a beautiful background for the image we can play around with this change the prompt change the seed to whatever your heart desires while keeping the main subject of the image exactly the same this one lands our dog on a beach at the very least you can easily generate different backgrounds for your facebook dp and on the higher end of the spectrum you are only limited by your imagination just look what it has done with a simple basic prompt if you can already do this much with SDXL models, just imagine what you can do when the next iteration stable cascade comes out. That is going to be far superior compared to SDXL. And if you haven't already started using stable cascade, then you should definitely start right away while this video guides you.